Well, hello. A new episode of Crash New Podcast back interviewing bands and this is the band Mary's Dream from Lincoln but before um, we go on with the podcast I just want to say hope you all liked the podcast I've done before with Mark Terry the organiser of the community festival the festival was meant to be um, taken place in the New Hampton Arts Centre in Wolverhampton but unfortunately it's been postponed and it's been moved to July, probably be held um, at the same place as planned, but it's probably going to be outdoors, it's going to be better weather. So stay tuned for that. Back to the present, interviewing the brilliant Mary's Dream. I've been playing this band a lot on my radio show, they're absolutely great, they've done great tunes, and it's my vibe, like, it's such chilled out indie, it's like, the vibe I like when I'm just sitting down lounging about in my bedroom with the lava lamp on. Before we start, here's the song Rearrange Your Dreams. <laughs> And I play drums. I'm Molly and I play guitar. So, how did all of you meet? Okay, so, we all just signed up to do the music for the school play we were doing in like, what years were we in? I was in year 10. Me and Molly were only like year 9. No, we were year 8. You were year year 9. We were all in school. Yeah. Anyway, Um, very young. (laughs) It was uh, Romeo and Juliet, and we didn't know each other really that well, and we just all signed up to do it, and we happened to end up being in a band for the play, and then we just afterwards we were like, oh, do you want to keep being a band? And we were like, yeah. Yeah. Because it was a lot of fun. 
what motivated you lot to form a band? Um, yeah, so basically that, um, yeah, so we, we thought we sounded really good and then we just said, oh, let's keep doing it. And then here we are, four years down the line. I think we were all a bit sort of like full of teenage angst as well. Probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we'd never been, we'd <laughs> never, uh, neither of us had ever been in a band before. Yeah. And we, we all, all wanted We all to. played instruments, so it was quite cool to actually have the opportunity to be in a band instead of just... Yeah. Playing on a messing own. about. Yeah. yeah. Jamming. <clears throat> when did you all first get into music before joining the band? Uh, we were all kind of music lovers anyway. Yeah. I mean, our parents are probably our biggest influences, but we all love music anyway and yeah. played before we formed the band. Especially you, Molly and Lexi, as well. Yeah. And, and you as well, you were in a band with my sister for like... I was. What was that band called? <laughs> um, we were the Flares for the a while. Flares. Yeah. Um, but we never did any gigs Yeah, we've always been mad into music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a lot of us and go to festivals and stuff. Yeah. And gigs, so yeah. Yeah, and all that's we how we all to music. that's how we all yeah. met and made friends and everything because we're all into music. What music was you all into? We um, oh yeah you oh go. sorry you go um we all sort of had different tastes but we all had like especially like when we first started the band we all sort of like the Cure and like a lot of Brit pop influences as well and now we still like a lot of the same stuff as well like. Yeah. Wolf Alice and, <laughs> and just a lot like we have different things as well I think that's good because we sort of take different our individual yeah. influences yeah mm, that we all take our own yeah. yeah would you say the music you listened to in the past inspired the music you play now I think mm-hmm. definitely yeah definitely, yeah, definitely inspired so. like um, sort of indie British sort of indie Britpop. Yeah. yeah. Like if you listen to our music now, you like the genre of music it is would be like what we would listen to. Like if you looked yeah. at what we listen to, it could easily just fit on one of them playlists, like yeah. in that style. Yeah. Like when we recorded our EP we were all really into Wolf Alice. Yeah. So that probably reflects through the music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about the name, Mary's Dream. So when did that come about? Who came up with the name and why that name? Mary's Dream, how did we come up with that? Yeah, Snee. Molly Snee, how did we come uh, up with Mary's Dream? Was it me? I don't know. I think so. I, think, uh, I don't know. I think we were looking we for a new band know, name. We were yeah. looking for a new band name. And I think it was just multiple things. Yeah, we were looking like, for like books and stuff. Something to do with it? a new, with a weird dream. Yeah, no, f- literally Holly nothing. Holly the bass player had. We yeah. had like yeah. loads. We went through loads of phases of different names, and they were all just a bit naff. Like nothing <laughs> and stuck, we, and we thought that is actually a bit embarrassing. Like if you if we saw our name on like a gig poster, it'd be a bit like. It'd be like so we were like, like need to change, yeah. 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 need to change it. So it's just stuck, and it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I think we were so fed up that we just stuck with whatever. Yeah. But it was all right. It's a nice name. Yeah, Yeah. it's a cool name. Let's talk about the music you write. Um, Who is it that writes the music and the lyrics? I think it's kind of everyone has their free out of the four. (laughs) Yeah, but even like we all sort of make up the bits that we do in songs. And like even if we think something would sound better, we kind of sit there and go, no, no, no. So it's like a group effort. Yeah, all of us. But yeah, we all contribute. Lyrics sort are mainly me and Holly, sometimes yeah. you. Me and Holly, sometimes. But everything else is yeah, like a group yeah. effort. What's inspired the lyrics with most songs? I think just like random anything that happens to us. Mm. Literally anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I sometimes. think when we, when, sorry, when we first started, it was like made up yeah. events, made up breakups because <laughs> we're all really young. But yeah. in order. now as we're getting older... <laughs> They're more about things we've experienced yeah. and stuff that we're passionate about, like yeah. the music feminism. And I think as well because yeah. so much is going on, like good or bad, it just it's just a source of inspiration yeah. and motivation for anything. Because you can literally look around and something would probably yeah. pop into your head. Yeah. In June last year, your debut EP came out named "Angry Girl Music of the Indie Rock Persuasion," and I have to say it's absolutely brilliant. EP of the year just has to be but how um was it what was it like um recording and how long did it take um 
it was good recording. It was nice to do it at home, I think. Yeah. But, because, you know, we were just coming out of lockdown. So nowhere, like, even studios weren't open. Mm-hmm. Or it was like, you have to be from the same household. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the rules. So we, f- we were fed up of not having any music out. I think we just kind of... It was when you were allowed to go and visit people. Yeah. Because like, yeah. we ended up sort of... Like, our first band practice was in May, I think. And that's when we started... Like yeah. our we were, like, proper first like, practice. outside of sort of yeah, yeah, we practiced in the shed <laughs> in, the and in the garden. But um yeah, it was crazy. It was just it was just something to do and yeah. once you once we had it all set out and planned it was quite easy to it took us like a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah it took us like from about start to finish. four weeks, yeah. And it was really good. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Love the name of the E P and the cover. So who done the cover and came up with the name? Yes, yeah, Snape. Snape, Molly I Snape. I had this uh it's like some, it's a quote um, from... 10 Things I Hate yeah. About You. And I had it, it's... Um, I can't even remember the quote, but the Angry Girl music of in, the Indie Rock Station. And I had, like, a little screenshot of it, and I was like, guys, can we post this on yeah. the Instagram account? It'd be funny. And then I just saw it on my, like, camera roll. Like, yeah. And I was like, oh, what if we called the EP that? It's quite a fitting name, though, as well, because like, that film is a coming-of-age yeah. film, and then our EP is kind of and then centred around The it. artwork yeah. is just, like taking the look of like punk yeah magazines so and yeah. yeah. making it yeah. pink yeah and that's it, it. That's that's what it, what it is. have you got anything else coming out in the future yeah we plan on releasing more music that's... and recording more music yeah yes. hopefully soon stay tuned stay yeah. tuned for every, that every new year is very exciting um can you get your music on cd vinyl or anything we did make some cds but like they're we, very rare. We <laughs> like copy. We would CDs. like to make some vinyl, but money. Yeah. yeah. And um, hopefully, it's hard to sell things future. when you don't have a platform to sell them on, and like when you don't yeah. have like, I don't know, like a band bank account or band. <laughs> like I feel <laughs> like I feel like it's um, kind of on a personal level. People like, people would want to buy CDs, but I think if it's out on um, online streaming platforms, then that's yeah. the main thing at the moment. Whilst we're on the subject, what about merchandise? Pants. We were, gonna, <laughs> we were genuinely we thinking were about pants. We were going to make pants and socks. Yeah. And it would say, like, I don't know, like, jokes, like, puns out of our lyrics yeah. and stuff. And, like, imagine exactly. how cool that would be. You Probably know, no T-shirts as before. well, though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Any, yeah. we're, we've had some ideas. If yeah. people, we should probably find out yeah. people would actually yeah. buy. Not used so. ones, that's weird. No, yeah, just that would be weird. <laughs> Twelve. Now... Here's a bit of footage of them playing live, and this is a song called Normal People.
that was um, Normal People, one of their live performances. So, let's talk about live music. Um, where was your first live show and when was it? And what was it like performing together for the first time? Um, okay, so uh, at World Cup, World Cup Summer, England were winning. 2018. Was it 6-1? 6, one? six yeah. nil. Six, six, no, six, no, they'd won, yeah, 6-1. I think. Yeah, it was so hot and it was at our local pub, which we absolutely love. Our favourite pub, the Queen in the West, outside in the beer garden. I think it was, it was Columbia. Amazing. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Everyone was there because obviously we the school play was in December. Yeah. We hadn't done any any gigs. Yeah. Between until, December and June. And June. Looking so back, everyone came out. And the beer garden was packed, and then at the end of the gig they did a uh, whip round, didn't they? Yeah. So that was and like our first it, bit of money. What did we do with the money? We I think we just split it. it. <laughs> so we got like twenty quid each or something. <laughs> But looking back, like it was such a basic gig. We just had like tiny basic camps. And yeah, but it was yeah. brilliant. Oh, no so PA. It was good fun yeah. though. Yeah. It was like mostly covers as well because we had like four songs. Yeah, we had yeah. such a long set list. I remember it being like three, four pages. Yeah, our favourite. <laughs> what was your nerves like? I wasn't nervous because it was all like our friends and family. So what was that? That's I speak. Um, <laughs> I we were was, all excited, weren't we? I was a bit nervous, but I think it was more excitement than nerves. Cause I was what, really nervous. Yeah. I can't really remember, to be honest. <laughs> I was just mumbling about the football. What are your nerves like now when you perform a gig compared to that first one? I think I'm worse now. Really? Because there's more, like, strangers at our gigs rather than our friends yeah. and family. I think so one, of like our, our... Yeah, one of our recent gigs, that when we supported the rails at the engine shed, we were all oh, yeah, pretty was, nervous because it was that. people we didn't know it playing in front of us. It's like, like it's biggest like... Thing. And it's quite intimidating as well because we'd never done a proper sound check and, like, yeah. half the equipment on the stage we'd never even seen before. <laughs> and it was... It's crazy. <laughs> it's right. Go ahead. I do think now though, like we're all a lot more like we know that we can like more like we're more confident in ourselves. Yeah, but then yeah. we can also I don't know like I feel like if I'm nervous, it's more excitement. Like yeah. I'm not really like I'll be excited for weeks and weeks when we've got a gig, and then it will come up to it, and I'll be really nervous. But it's always good nerves. So it goes into the energy. Have you got any cool events and gigs happening in 2022? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Hope, yeah. Get yeah. some planned. We're looking to get some planned. Yeah. It's quite easy. Like, I feel like you don't have to just have a whole calendar of gigs, like, right at the start, because it's so easy to book a gig, like, I don't mm-hmm. know, a few weeks in advance. And we get asked quite a lot, don't we? Yeah, we get asked quite a bit, and then there's also stuff like open mics that we'll probably do a few or quite a few. Yeah. Because they're on so regular, regularly. Maybe some it. new releases as yeah. well. Yeah. It's for me to know you to guess. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love most about gigs? It's like the buzz. The crowd. Yeah. The buzz. Adrenaline. When you get off yeah. stage and you're like, when you've worked so hard and practiced so much before the gig, <laughs> and then you play it and the buzz coming off stage is just great. When when people are like clapping for or songs like, that you've written. Or your written. friends are like, oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Or I love when you're on stage playing the songs and you, you look around and you're like, yeah, we've actually like made this song yeah. when yeah. now people, people know people are singing your lyrics it's and when you come brilliant. off stage and i love supporting people as well because you can go off stage you know you've done your bit you're still yeah. buzzing from it but you can spend the night just celebrating your own gig yeah yeah
That was The Loop, and you can get that on Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Have you done any memorable supports? The Rills, that was so The Rills so was cool. the best one. The Rills and the, um, the Blinders. The Blinders, yeah. yeah. They're, now, really good. they're now pretty big. They're going up. They're like, one, they're, yeah. they're good, yeah. Higher leagues of The Rills as well. Oh, I'm not saying that. Anyway. It's just nice. We supported our friends' band. Shout out, Current Climate. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. that's just a lot of fun. Cause yeah. Yeah. It's just a laugh because you get to gig with your mates. And, and you know their music time. really well. Yeah. And it, you can, we can all kind of relate to each other because we're the same age. Yeah. So it fit, we're literally in the same situation. Yeah. So it's great to support your mates. Um, yeah. Oh, before we finish, have you got any recommended bands or singer-songwriters? Rills. The Rills. Rills. The current, Rills are amazing. Current Climate. Our friends. Current Our friends. Climate. Current Climate. Um, <laughs> us. Us. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's this band called Penny Moon, who I really Penny like. Moon. Uh, Comic Sans. From, Comic Sans. From Lincoln. Yeah. yeah. They're good. They're brilliant. Um, Before you go, can you say something inspiring for the listeners? Uh, 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 <laughs> follow your dream. Never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. If you can't be good, be careful. They say it in the <laughs> Scots version. You say right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just keep doing what you love because you'll end up just having fun and having a good time. Yeah. And that's what and just do it. End. Don't be like embarrassed about putting yourself out there because it pays off. Yeah. yeah. And don't let the fear of failing stop you from trying <laughs> yeah yes me yes me you what, sound like what a teacher what to end it on. um yeah thanks for having us thank you thanks for thank in podcast thank you <laughs>
Um, they've got so much great music. Um, you can get loads of their stuff on YouTube and demos and stuff like that on SoundCloud. That's all on YouTube. And you can get their EP and singles on Spotify. Give it a listen. There's some great stuff there. And also, you can get them on social media. Um, just search up Mary's Dream Band and you'll be able to get their Instagram. And... Twitter and that, I'm not sure, but like, I'm sure if you message them, um, they'll give you their Twitter and that if they got it. Um, but I f- thank you so much for joining me. Really, really appreciate it. Got some more great bands from Lincoln joining me. Um, a band called Split Meter, a um, bit of a grungy sound to them. Um, they're going to be joining me. I've got a band from Birmingham um, joining me, um, Sugar Thief, and I think they're from Birmingham, they're from the Midlands, and I've got The Assist joining me, I've got so many bands coming up, but I don't know who's coming next, so stay tuned, Crashing In is back, with interviewing bands and some great guests, so I'm going to get everyone on. Also, I've got another person coming on soon, um, punk legend Steve Hart, out of the band Neon Hearts from Wolverhampton. Uh, he's going to be talking music and he's going to be on the radio. And hopefully Mary's Dream will be doing um, a radio takeover on Red Wall, Red Wall very, very soon. So, I'm going to call it an end to today's podcast and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for listening and please share if you can and please leave a like.